Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here and today I'm here to do an unboxing of the Sage Digital Indec, the Model 3644 from Sage Learning Systems. You might know I already have one digital index that's currently in the rack and that's serving as my North Carolina alerts. This is going to be replacing my last 1822 model. I just picked this up today from SEMS in Pineville, North Carolina. They are a dealer for these. So I went and picked one up and I'm going to do an unboxing video today. So got the box and it's just a very standard normal box just sage learning systems model 3644 on the side it does have the serial number and stuff and this should come with the revision r96 or yeah rev 96 firmware on it my last one did when i bought it or when i bought it from a, another person but this one should also come with the rev 96 firmware on it too so let's get unboxing And I did decide to turn off my AC unit that is currently upstairs. That way you can actually hear me because sometimes this thing does get loud. So hopefully the servers in the background won't get too loud. But I believe this is actually going to be a YouTube's first. I have not seen anyone else unbox a digital index before. So hopefully this will be the first one. But we got the box cut up in here. First thing you see, index, and we'll get that out. We'll set it to the side. So we'll just set this to the side over here. You also get the important information with the notice that it does contain the Rev 96 release, the security information, and just another booklet, as well as you have the model or the quick start guide, which we don't need this. <laughs> I have already, since I've already got one, I've kind of known. So that's the documents you get within the box itself. And then in this little part right here, we have the power adapter or the power cable and the new power adapter because these do not take the old ones. Like on the 1822 models, these, you cannot use your 1822 model power supply with your new one for future reference. But we'll get this box out of the way and we'll get the main event. So we'll put this here. And here is the digital index. It's a nice blue box. Everyone loves them. Everyone wants one. I was one of those people and I finally was able to get one. So we'll just start the unboxing. Let me set these over to the side, get them out of the way. Had to clean up my <laughs> work area desk because it was messy. So it's still a little dirty on this end. I'm still cleaning. Leave. Yeah, I'm not about to say this end should have the opening. And there it is. Here is the Sage Digital Index. Set this one to the side. Push all the buttons. Kind of a tradition in the EAS and weather community to push all the buttons of the radio or unit. So, on the front, you know, a lot of people are familiar with this. Looks like mine was actually kind of put in crooked, but you know what? I don't mind, and plus I can actually probably go in and fix that. But it's got this nice matte finish, and this blue, it, it's really nice. I like the look of the blue. Got your incoming alert, outgoing, attention to automatic, and your digital audio lock, as well as your 35 millimeter mic jack. Flip around to the back of the unit. It's kind of designed differently than the old 1822. You got the relays you got your dens and you got your normal terminal block you got your digital audio in and out which a lot of people unless you're in major broadcasting if you're using this as you know hobbies you probably won't use this you got your in and out left and right your ethernet port usb ports and your five com ports which you can use those for either loggers printers stuff like that and you also got your computer port on the back this is so i've learned this is a grounding kind of um standoff really so if you need to ground the unit to whatever your company does you can ground it there i've sometimes actually used it on the older units and use it to ground out the monitor inputs but luckily these have two extra grounds now i believe but we will put this up and we will get it plugged in for you all right guys so we got it plugged in and everything and we're ready to do the first power on so this will be the first ever power on for this unit other than it being at the factory 
So I'll take you down here. All right, so you see the automatic light is blinking. So that could be one or two things, but this is a non-program unit yet, so I have not put any programs in it, so that's what we're actually gonna do now. So I got to set this computer port to the index set. Let's put this here. This is just a uh, USB to serial adapter, nothing fancy. So we'll plug that in there. I'll go to my index set software, and we'll go ahead and put settings to this index. So it's currently going through its process and it's, it uses the same index set software kind of like the 1822 except this one's updated for the digital index so this one's the index set D software all right so it now has its settings so what we'll do we'll go and hit I'll go ahead and hit I'll go ahead and get the time set as well as I'll go ahead and hit reboot index so okay to reboot yes that way it can have its current programming and I'll show you the process here This gimbal's not liking me. So it's just going to go through its process again of booting. And it take, this one takes a lo little bit longer to boot than the other one, obviously, for because it had it's having to run a lot newer software as well as firmware and all that. So it has a lot extra stuff it's got to start booting. And it probably won't be able to start the web server. I mean, it may, but right now there is no Ethernet cable attached to it. So that automatic light will probably start blinking. So meaning it can't pull the cap server that I have in it. I use iPods open. So without the Ethernet cable, it's not going to be able to pull that. So that's probably what's going to cause that automatic light to start blinking. All right. Restarting network and that once again, that's probably why because it can't detect any network or can't detect anything because it's not plugged in yet But for the video, I'll go ahead and do a weekly test. We'll get this thing in service, right? So week And we'll proceed Alrighty, and that's going to complete the video guys. I hope you enjoyed watching and hopefully Kind of gives you light of the blue box I know there's not really too many videos on this thing and if you want me to do a video on it Explaining any kind of features or whatnot or want to see it more in action Just let me know in the comments below I'm going to go ahead and put this into the rack and I will take a photo and include it in the video But thanks for watching guys and see you on the next video Hey guys, I just wanted to pop in at the end of the video when I was recording this last night, I was very tired. We have got done with a six hour round trip because it's three hours and 30 minutes to Pineville and about three hours and 30 minutes back, along with traffic and everything we ran into. So we were both pretty tired. So I'm sorry if I sound like I was stuttering through most of this. I was just very extremely tired. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video and look forward to more content. And if you want to see me make a video or anything on these um, digital index, just let me know and I will see what I can do. But in the meantime, thanks for watching.